Welcome to 98.5 The Sports Hub. I'm Tyler Lingwinder along with Burke Layden and Brady and Brady Gardner. Um, our number is 1-800-BOSTON-1. Our first topic is going to be about the Boston Red Sox. What do they need to do to get back into, con into contention, and will they ultimately make the playoffs? Uh, well, I think the starting pitching has been just fine. I think what they really need to work on is their batting. They have not been able to produce many runs consistently, and so I think what they need to do is uh, get somebody into Boston, maybe Giancarlo Stanton. He has been hitting pretty well for the Marlins, and uh, that's really a building block to get back in contention. What do you think, Burke? Yeah, I think they have to move Jake Peavy. I think he's a good pitcher. He's just not a good fit in Boston. I think um, our outfield, it's been batting-wise one of the worst in the league. We're batting under 200, our outfielders are. It's, it's been rough. I think you could use a guy like, like you said, Stanton, maybe even a Matt Kemp. Um, so, yeah, I think if we get some help in the outfield, uh, our bullpen's really good. Our starting rotation's pretty good. I think we could. I think we could sneak into the playoffs. With the AL East so compact, the Red Sox. It's not you know the number of games they're at. It's the number of teams they have to jump. And unless they acquire an outfielder like Stanton or Kemp, you know maybe even a Tulowitzki, a shortstop to help out Stephen Drew. I don't believe the Red Sox are going to make the playoffs. And now we've got a caller. It's Dave from Boston. What's up, guys? Thanks for taking my call. Love the show. It's the first time I'm calling in. I just want to know. Are the Boston Bruins going to be back at the Stanley Cup? Well, what are their chances this year? Thanks. Thanks for calling. Yeah, the, the Bruins, you know, every year the goal is obviously the Stanley Cup, but they actually have a chance of doing it this year. You know, with Chara, you know, you got Tuka Rask. Anything's possible with the way Tuka Rask plays. You know, Bergeron's an underrated player. You know, the Bruins, you know, every year find a way to play good team defense, and if they can find a way to score more goals, they could be a very – they could be a very good contender in the Eastern Conference. Well, yeah, I think they're going to be just fine no matter what. But uh, they have gotten rid of some veterans with Jerome Aginla and Sean Thornton leaving Boston. They also signed a younger player, Matt Barkowski, drafted a few as, as well. So I think they'll be good over a long stretch of time. So just because they're getting rid of some veterans, I wouldn't necessarily say they're in a rebuilding phase. Yeah, the, uh, the Bruins' first-round pick, David Patronak, um, I've heard good things out of him in camp. Uh, the Bruins run that, that triangle offense where they the guy with the puck always has two passing options, and that's worked really well over the last few years. You have young guys like Riley Smith. You still have Marshawn, Bergeron, you know, Chara. That's the soul of our team. I think, like you said, with a guy like Rask in that, I really do think this team could make a run for the Cup. I think that you could see a trade. Um, you know, we could use a, a middle-aged guy. Our team's a little young right now. But, yeah, I think the Bruins are definitely definitely in the hunt. Mm -hmm. And you know Claude Julian will get the best out of his players. Um, we're going to head to commercial. When we get back, we'll be talking about Kevin Love and the Celtics. This is 98.5 The Sports Hub.